Hey, welcome to St. Auto. Let's go up to the barn garage and see what Victor's into today. In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to clean the gas and the gunk out of the tank of a C4 Corvette. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. I was going to use my electric pump, but it died. You can see it there on the ground. Apparently, while it was sitting in the bottom drawer of this toolbox, it just died from non-use. Maybe at some later date, I'll take it apart and we'll look inside of it to see what it looks like inside. I suspect there's surface rust on the gears, keeping it from turning. So I bought this, and I'll put an Amazon link in the description of the video, but you can just walk into any harbor freight and and get one of these i mean you don't have to order it but it's pretty convenient for it to just if you order it just it shows up on your doorstep but i mentioned harbor freight because i'm more interested in helping you guys out than i am at getting affiliate clicks and you may need to have one today if you're like me and your regular pump is dead all right, here's the before look at the inside of the gas tank with the discolored gas and the trash and everything. Now I'm going to pump it all out of there and show you the after and let you know what I think about this little pump here. First thing I'll tell you about this is I do not like the package. I, I don't like any of these types of packages that it used to, I'd open stuff with pocket knife and nowadays it's gotten to where they make these packages. You've got to have a strong pair of scissors to keep from injuring yourself just to open the thing. Okay, it seems to come with a bunch of extra little adapters. So you can use it like emergency bicycle pump or something like that, which I'm not going to do. I'm just trying to transfer fluid so I can clean out the tank and I've, used the wing here wrapped it up so i don't mess up the paint to tie this on here so i can work this pump with one hand that way i can direct this hose i might even be able to find a piece of plastic or something to put on the end of it i want to be able to direct it right to once i get near all the gas out direct it to where i can get the last little bit out so if i can't hold the hose with one hand and and point it where I want to while pumping with the other hand, then I can't do that. Therefore, my half hillbilly rig here. Okay, I found something, and I've got a pipe in here, which helps hold this up so that I can clamp this piece down on it, which gives me the size of this pipe that I, I tore something apart and robbed it. And that gives me something nice and stiff that I can connect to here and it's more than long enough because you know you always want to be more than long enough and instead of not long enough then i can get down in here and direct it to exactly the points i want it to be so when i start getting close to being out of fuel i can get all those little pockets and if i haven't mentioned it already i've got a jerry can here and a fan for the fumes And lots of clean mountain air. And right there is where the big T did his speech, which I almost got kicked off of YouTube for filming and putting on YouTube. And no, I did not give in and I did not take that video down. YouTube forcibly took it down after accusing me of all kinds of heinous stuff. working that works really fast I'm impressed with how quickly that worked let's see how much we got out of there okay you can see there's almost no gas left in there still quite a bit of trash in there Nothing duct tape and a stick and a rag will take care of. Get some of that 
Hillbilly Ingenuity involved again. Less than a minute. Less than one minute. Of course, there wasn't a lot of gas in there. I mean, if you look at this, it's like a five gallon jerry can. And it's probably only about right here. So about a gallon, certainly less than two gallons. Less than a gallon and a half. But it did what I needed it to do. And it's very cheap. Check this out. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> yeah. Can put my arm down in here and wipe this stuff out. I'm still getting quite a bit of trash out of there. This looks awesome. Are y'all ready to see this? Yeah, check this out. Look at how great that looks. All nice and clean. And right there I put that ink pen so I could give y'all another tip. Of uh, There are two little tiny holes right there on each side of that cup. And that ink pen's pointing at one of the little tiny holes. They were stopped up when I started this project. Oh man, look how clean it is all the way down in there. Remember what it looked like before? Here's the before and after. The before and after. Now, pay close attention to those little tiny holes where that ink pen's pointing at because mine were stopped up. And when they're stopped up with trash, it causes problems with any time you're below like a quarter of a tank of gas. So if you've been having weird problems when you're below a quarter tank of gas, that might be why. You might need to clean all this stuff out. If you want to know how to change the fuel pump, I've got a video on that. If you want to know how to change the fuel filter, I've got a video on that. If you want to know how to change the fuel pressure regulator, I've got a video on that. Yeah, I got quite a few DIY Corvette videos and quite a few more coming. Look at all those boxes of brand new parts piled up on top of the Corvette. And there's more coming. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it, and an engine is probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Saint Auto. Binge watch Saint Auto.